All right, everyone. Well, obviously it's the next day and we are out here to do the cook portion of our catch, clean and cook from last night. Um, we got home a little late. It was kind of dark and we didn't want to bring you guys out here in the dark. We wanted to give you the best quality video possible. So we waited till today. We're going to do these crappy for lunch. We did cook or we did catch, sorry, two crappy last night that we kept. And I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to cook it. Um, I'm not going to show you a ton of the cleaning portion just because I don't want to get flagged by YouTube um, for blood and guts, but we're going to try to keep it as clean as possible. Animal um, cruelty. Animal cruelty, <laughs> right? Um, so we've got the two crappy here. We're just going to kind of pull these off to the side. These are not bad sized fish, but what I do is obviously I have a nice sharp fillet knife that I use. Um, you're definitely going to want that. What I do is I come right here behind the gills and behind this front fin. Make a slice here, all the way down to the backbone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate them around. Always work to the easiest port side, so like whatever's easiest for you. Then I put the knife of this fillet knife, just the tip, and I kind of just slide it down along that backbone to make my first incision all the way down until I get to the very bottom here. And then what I do is I just hold. And I just kind of poke all the way through, pop it out the back side, okay? And then at that point, what I'll do is I'll get my fingers in here. I'll try to get it to where you guys can see. And then all I'll do is just be careful with your knife and then just slowly run it along that backbone and pull that fillet up. And you should just run along that backbone until you hit the spine. Then once you hit that spine, you're just gonna kind of pop up over that spine, slide all the way down. We're trying to leave as little meat on the fish as possible. We want as much of that meat on our filet as we can. Then here's where you're going to start running into your rib cage. So you're just going to, I'm going to try, you can cut through those. I'm just going to try and filet around them. A little less work on the other side. So then we're just going to lay down right there and just come along the bottom like the fins will get out of my way and then you just cut that bottom piece right and you're not gonna lose a ton of meat right here because this is just belly meat um, so you're gonna end up cutting that off anyway so you don't have to be as precise precise down here so there we go. So we've got one fillet off. Um, as you can see, we cut around that rib cage. Um, so we're only gonna have a few little pin bones right there. Um, Cause we're, we would have ended up cutting that rib cage out anyways, but makes it a little easy for you, easier for you on that one. Um, so I'm gonna flip it. We're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Just gonna run knife down, get to the scales right there, all the way to the backbone, flip your knife. Turn it around so you guys can see it. Okay. Phoebe, be quiet. So then you're gonna run. Sorry for the girls. They obviously saw something they didn't like. I think it was a squirrel. So we're gonna run the same way all the way down till we get to the end. I pop that knife out of the other the back side. Pop it out to like die. that. And then we're gonna turn it. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Sorry, these guys are a little small to video, but we're gonna do the same thing. Just run that knife down the back side. And then once you get to that, once you get to that rib bunk cage, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Sorry, sometimes you gotta get down on the fish's level to be able to see what you're doing, but we're just gonna fillet around that rib cage. Just be careful not to cut yourself. If you have a sharp knife, it will not be fun if you cut yourself. Come down. It's still early in the season, so I'm a little rusty on my fish cleaning. Um, these are actually the first fish I've cleaned this season, so they'll get it'll get better as we go. All right. So we've got that fish completely cleaned. Ready to go, we've got two beautiful fillets here. What we're gonna do is I'll show you what we're gonna do next, but I'm gonna go ahead and knock the, the sides off this other crappy, and we'll bring you guys back and show you what we're gonna do next. 
Okay, so we've got all the fillets knocked off of these crappy. Um, they're not huge, but we're gonna get a nice chunk of meat off of each of them. So, all right, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do on one of these, and then I'm gonna knock out the rest of them, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I hold, we're gonna knock the skin or the scales off the back of this, okay? So what I do is I hold, you can use a fork or something right there. You just wanna get your knife in, get it started, then I pick up the backside and just hold it really firm because it's slippery as I'll get out. Um, but you want to run your knife, kind of let the knife do the work here. You're just kind of sawing back and forth, but you're letting that knife, it should be nice and sharp. I'm keeping it at about, I don't know, a 45 degree angle to the cutting board. That way it's not digging into the skin. It's also not digging into the meat. And I'm just pulling with my back hand that I'm holding the tail with right here. And I'm just letting that knife kind of scissor back and forth along this meat and the skin and it's just going to cut it straight off and then you've got you leave hardly anything there you've got you yeah, a nice awesome. fillet of meat off the back there nice. then, then all we're going to do is we'll come in here and trim this up so i, I just fill along through here a lot of times this is where your pin bones are going to be if you have any like i have a small line right there when you trim around the rib cage like that you really don't have a ton of pin bones but you're just gonna kinda, I come in here, I just debone my fillets real quick. That way, you, you're guaranteed there are no bones in your fillet when you're eating. Well, so, these fish have teeny tiny bones. They so do. You'll choke on them real easy. Um, but that's ready to go. We're gonna throw it on the blackstone. I'm gonna knock the other three out. Then we're gonna season them up and knock them on the, throw them on the blackstone and do a blackened, crappy uh, lunch. So, I hope you are looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so we've got everything seasoned up here. We've got the blackstone cranked up. We've got our veggies that are gonna go with our fish already going strong on the other side of the blackstone. What I'm gonna do is I'm using Everglades fish and chicken as my seasoning. We're gonna go real nice and light on these. Um, we're gonna do more of a blackened fish. So we're just gonna come in here, run a nice layer of this Everglades seasoning on there. You can go as heavy as you want. You can also use whichever seasoning you like at home. Just gonna flip them over. We did rinse these off just to get some of the, if there's any extra scales or anything hiding on there that we didn't get off. Then we're just gonna season these bad boys up like this. And then we're gonna come over here to the Blackstone. We're gonna lay down some oil. We're using avocado oil. You can use whatever you like. You can also do this inside if you don't have a black stone. And then we're just gonna lay these fish on here. It's not gonna take long to cook at all. You don't wanna overcook your fish. So we're gonna do that. And then we're just gonna blacken these things up. I do have my black stone on this side set to a very as low as it'll go. That way it doesn't like really quickly burn that fish, but it's probably gonna take just a couple seconds on each side and it'll be ready to go. We're gonna move our veggies around, make sure they're going good. Did some squash and zucchini, and we've got some quinoa inside on the stove that's ready to go. So we'll let those sear off. We're just gonna let these crappy cook up, and then we'll bring you right back. So we're finished. So if you zoom in here, we have our lunch that we have put together. We have our uh, blackened crappy, um, not as blackened as I would want it, but definitely gonna be delicious with our sauteed veggies and our quinoa. Definitely turned out to be a phenomenal lunch. Now let's give it a taste, see what it tastes like. We're gonna start with the fish because let's be honest, that's what we're all here for. So it did not take long, it flakes apart just like that beautiful I'm not, I'm not sure how well you can see that very delicious it's not overcooked at all with these small fillets it doesn't take but like a minute minute and a half on each side you're good to go but 
Definitely, I love crappy because a lot of freshwater fish have that really gamey taste to them. Crappy doesn't. It has a really beautiful white um, meat to it. Very tender. Can't go wrong with just a nice light seasoning on it. Let's see how the veggies turned out. I know they're going to be good. Delicious. We use the Blackstone Parmesan Ranch seasoning on top. One of my favorite veggies seasonings there is out there. You can find those at Walmart as well. And we know the quinoa is going to be good. But guys, check out that fish. It You can't go wrong. It was swimming yesterday on our plate today. It is one of the most best flavors I've ever tasted. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure to give it a, give this video a thumbs up. It does help promote my channel um, on YouTube and the videos that we put out. But before we end, there is one thing we need to finish. Um, we did do a 1v1 yesterday and we, when we were at the lake, we never told you the winner. So my wife would not let me live it down if I didn't say that she <laughs> did beat me five fish to four fish when it came to the 1v1 yesterday. So I did have to cook dinner last night, um, but hey, we had a phenomenal time out by the lake. I hope y'all enjoyed coming along with us as we went out and just had a fun evening, a fun summer evening out on the lake, catching some fish and then eating some wonderful fish for lunch this afternoon. So as we wrap this video up, guys, remember whatever y'all are doing, make sure y'all are all in.